Hi, friends. I'm just watching Kellinger there. My old buddy Kellinger's, uh, he's live right now. Nice to pop in on him and uh, see how he's doing from time to time, friends. I really like Chris Kellinger. He's, uh, he's, he's a solid dude. Solid dude. Like, hard-working family man. Just puts out what he can and uh, really tries to give something to his community. I, I just, I love the guy. I, I just, killing your eye, you're probably not watching this because you're live, but I, I love you, buddy. I do. Okay. Let me get square here, friends. I don't know if, if, if anybody's here yet. Maybe you are. Let's have a look. Oh, oh my goodness. Yes, you are here. It's good to see you. Now that. It's great to see everybody. Oh, good. There's the, uh, there's the, um, the focus. That That's good quality, actually. Does that look all right, friends? It's good to see us. Sun's kind of up there. I'm uh, I'm getting there. Oh, whoa! Hey, lost the lost forty. Happy Sunday, Bucking, and to the Bucking Army. Lost forty. Thank you for the super chat right off the hop, buddy. Thank you. That's a big help. It just thank you. We got 212 people already. To the 212 people here, thank you. I, uh, you know, friends, I'm one, I'm one of them. I'm one of them people. Dean, Dean, good to see you. Marty Rudder, love you. Eric, nice to see you. Lily Boyce, Kevin Duff, Aaron, Matt Man. I'm one of them guys that is. 99.999% up there. Always doing good. Um, I, I would lie to you if I said that, that I wasn't sucking the hind tip right now. Uh, we've had a, a bit of a solemn couple weeks here at the house. My wife, my wife got fairly sick. She's better now. Um, just it's just life friends it's just life and that's why i don't if i got nothing to offer do you know what i'm saying friends i, I would rather not come and and sit and complain about life cuz life is life let's turn that down Good afternoon, Robert. Nice to see you. How's the how's the the visual, friends? Everything good? Hey, Buckin. Um, would it be possible to make a double bid axe? That's a chopper and a splitter, of course, buddy. That's what. Yes. That's kind of what a double bid is in my mind. Two bits. Yeah, it definitely is. You just have to be careful of your balance. Because if you have one that's really fat, you're going to have one really heavy side and one light side, and it's going it, to, it'll be interesting. But yes, you can to answer your question. And we're going to. I, I really thought a lot about double bits. Uh, I actually was very close to to talking to Liam about a double bit or, or, or another blacksmith. And, uh, friends, double bits, you know, people used to always say to me, they're dangerous. Well, any ax can be dangerous if in the wrong hands. But in saying that a double bit, it, it can be more dangerous. It can be. I've seen guys who 
you know, put them in a stump. I'm guilty of it. I'll put them in a stump. Well, if you trip, you know, you trip somewhere or lose your footing and put your hand down on something or they can be dangerous. Samuel, self-improvement. That's right, brother. When you're good, you're good. Hey, we had another super chatter here. Who's this? Tyler. Happy Sunday. Just got a 461. Going to put it in some wood. It's a good saw. They're a good saw. I find they need porting. But that's that's just me. I like a ported saw. I think one of the best power saws ever uh, in a stock form was the P51. A P50 and a P51. I believe in stock form that saw is an absolute monster. I have a couple. Nice to see everybody today. Cat bird on, oh, this man here. The Brady's on Cat Bird Hill. Friends, this man's helping me out right now. I just finished my shoulder exercises from this man. He's helping me with this injury right now, big time. He's doing personal videos for me, friends, and actually helping me with, you know, up-to-date, up-to-date information on shoulders, which is huge to me. It's helping, and I'm, go I'm going for it this, this time around. You know, it's that old saying, do the same thing expecting different results. We know what that's the definition of. Just get healed. Oh, that's great. Yep, I'm healed up. Yeah, just do nothing and then carry on. Well, it's just going to be a matter of time till you get it again. So I'm, I'm getting stronger. I'm getting stronger. And I feel better today a bit. Uh, the shoulder's still quite sore, but it's coming. It's coming. Jay Daniels, Pulaski, Pulaski's are more dangerous in a stump that they cut crossways when you fall on them. There you go. Yeah, I guess it really all depends on how sharp the blade is on any, any tool you get struck with, doesn't it? I've been smacked with axes that are uh, like just working with axes. I've, I've smacked an axe with my hand and nothing's happened. But after you sharpen one and you smack it, it'll open you right up. So I think it really depends on that edge, doesn't it? I've only had uh, heated bars are great. I, I've only had one set of heated bars and uh, they work wonderful. Wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. We don't get really cold here, but I did have a set years ago and I, I actually enjoyed it. Friends, we got a couple super chatters here. Uh, Ola Brevik. Ola. Ola, thank you. Thank you, Ola. Wonderful. Lieutenant Bradley gave us a super chat. And, of course, the Lost 40 gave us one. Tasman Kenny Fuller, good to see you. Bubaloo, nice seeing you. Jim, love you, brother. Samarin, hi, Jim. Kevin Duff. Aaron the Viking. Thomas Croft, I like a Michigan style axe by Halts. Do ya? There you go. It's a very popular style. I didn't know that they made a Michigan style. I know they make a Dayton kind of a knock, you know, like a Dayton style.
Whoa. Aaron the Viking sends a super chat. Buddy, thank you. One beautiful wood bullet you got going. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, we had some, we had some pretty nice compliments on that axe. A, a, a gentleman uh, reached out to me and, and he figures it's going to be kind of pretty special in the axe market, friends. Which I know this already. Um, There'll be knockoffs like crazy. You watch; it'll it's already happening. I see people out there. They're actually even calling it the wood bullet, which is kind of odd. But that's life. That that stuff doesn't doesn't bother me. I see people get worked up about stuff like that. Uh, it was your choice to put it out there, and now you're getting worked up about it. That makes no sense to me at all, actually. The more the merrier. The more people can get an axe in their hands that works. The better, as far as I'm concerned, and that is that is a fact. That is how I feel about this thing. To me, I don't. Not much more matters than that. It's just like filing a power saw. I just want people to run a sharp power saw because there's nothing like it, and I just want people to save energy when they're splitting firewood, and let them know that this profile will afford you many many options out at the wood pile. Let's take a look at it, shall we? So I hung this, what's this? Oh, there's my ice pack. I hung this uh, last night. This is a piece of Jatoba. I can't wait to see my stamp on there. And friends, I talked to Liam. We're going to go with the old school stamp. He's going to try and get it on there. He is. This, this, Liam did a, 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 an incredible, incredible job, friends. Like, incredible. This thing's scary. Yeah, like, I mean, scary. Look at that, look at that wood, friends. This has been so hard for me because I can't use it. Not yet. And here's the, here's the big one. Remember that stamp, friends? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm so excited. I just want to get this out to the masses, friends. That's that's truly the, the game of it. Oh, my dear goodness gracious, Laura Krug, what in the heck have you just done? Friends, look at Laura Krug. For whatever you need, glad you may be able to use the, oh my goodness gracious, oh, Laura, you're crazy. Friends, we got to thank Laura and all the super chatters today. Holy cow. Oh my goodness. Laura, we love you. Thank you. What a... Oh. Oh, and look at Jack. There's my old buddy, Jack. It's Jack. Hello, Bucket and everyone. Man, I'm so excited about this new axe. Jack. Buddy. I'm, I'm telling you, bud. I, I don't... I don't I'm excited. I'm excited. Yes. Liam has stepped up to the plate, friends. Straight goods. He has stepped up to the plate. So has Brad. These guys to help me do this. I, I just, I got, I got a couple things and, and there's no way in heck that it's going to be me making them. Just ain't going to happen. Simple Life with Robert was able to get out and cut yesterday after bypass surgery a couple weeks ago. Good man, Robert. Good for you, buddy. Very good. 
Get yourself healed up. I'm trying, brother. It's coming. I, I it's coming. I, I can't push it. I, I can't do it. Ooh. It's it's just it's just not there. It's just not there. Urban Slim, love coming to your channel because everyone's so nice. You got a big fan from Arizona Navajo Nation. Urban Slim, hey, thank you for saying that. But this community, I'm telling you, hands down. Hey, but what do you think that is? What do you think that is the result of? Urban, I'm asking you, brother. It's love. It's it's. It's to be vulnerable and, and to love someone. Show love. That's what it is. Don't be afraid to love. That's what it's all about. It's what it's always been about. It's just some people, for some reason, they got it backwards. They think they need to be tough. Well, of course you need to be strong. That, that goes without say. You actually become twice as strong when you show love. Did you fathom that? Try that on for size. Try it. You might be surprised with love on your side. Especially when you direct the love at yourself first and you get you get situated with yourself and, and the big fella and you, you know that you're meant to be here. Right? Yeah. And you have something to offer. And stop giving yourself reason to feel bad. Start giving. There's a recipe for peace out there, friends. Jack, it's good to see you. Thank you, buddy. I, uh... I don't... Yeah, I, I won't say too much. We're all on a, we're all on a journey, friends. We're all on a journey. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm really excited about this year coming, friends. <laughs> Super excited. So that's why when something like this happens, I kind of, you know, I get, oh, pull her back here. Pull her back. Rocks a little. Dave Slinger. Will you be getting will you be getting a gorilla style axe made anytime soon? Always seems to be your ultimate fallback. Uh well we, we'll get the we'll get the, the bullet situated and get it moving for Liam Hoffman first and get, get that moving. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. Uh I, I would like to. To be honest, I would like to. Um, it will blow people's minds what, what that actually does, especially with the incorporation of the, uh, you know what I'm talking about? It's uh, by far probably, well, it's top three. It, it's, it's up there it, for me. It's, it's an absolute beast, absolute beast. So to answer your, your question, uh, I, I think that's a possibility, Mr. David. Yeah. Yeah. Liam's an extremely busy guy. Yeah, the, the man's craftsmanship is, is hands down the best I've ever seen. W without even, like, it's the best I've ever seen. The man knows what he's doing. For me to give him what I gave him and him create what he created here. This makes me so happy. Gerbet, the double bullet. Yeah. Well, essentially, yeah. Okay. Any tips on a hollow tree? Uh, what, what do you mean? I'm not sure what you mean. Any tips on a hollow tree? Not sure what you mean, Joshua. Uh, 
Okay. Bill Block says, your hair needs work. Okay, I'll take that super chat and put it to work. Thanks, Billy. But I already spent it on coffee. So you're going to have to deal with it, bud. Evidence of a fabulous life. Shawshank. Timmy, good to see you. Babalu, she's feeling better. She's feeling better. She's out and about today. Yeah, she's out and about. She's feeling better. That's exactly right, Julio. That is exactly correct. If you need a job to get done, ask someone who's busy. That is exactly the truth right there. Yeah, she's feeling better. Thank you for asking. Yeah, she is. But it's it was a long haul for her. It is well for both of us here. But she she got hit harder than I did. I'll I'll be honest with that. She did. She got hit pretty hard. And uh, my wife don't like being down. Nobody likes being down. The bullet is going to be five pounds. Yeah, we're shooting for five pounds. Four and a half's fine, but trust me, I've done I've done more research than I would like to admit on the extra half pound on this axe, to be honest with you. I've I've put in hours and hours and hours and hours of research on this axe. And you watched it happen. So I'm oh my dear goodness, what? Friends. We have big super chatters going on here right now. Hey, everyone. Hope all's well. Glad to hear about your axes. I really hope you can get your shoulder healed up soon. It's coming, Todd. Thank you so much, buddy. I remember when Todd showed up at Paul Bunyan, friends. I was ready to kind of take a break. And Todd shows up. I said, hey, Todd, let's go for a, let's go for a walk. So we went for a walk, me and Todd and a couple others walking around Bunyan. What a wonderful time that was. Now, listen, I saw another super chat by a man named Richard Bipes. Bips. Bipay. Mr. Richard Bipay. Richard. Thank you, buddy. Sincerely, thank you for your support. What a lovely, what a lovely gesture. Thank you, pal. Man, oh man, you people. It just, it, it, it always astounds me friends, the super chat thing. It always astounds me. Thank you, Richard. I remember when this channel started getting supported that way. It, it what a history, what, what, what a journey this has been friends. Look at Todd Albright. What a freaking guy. Jacob. Good to see you Buckley. Mr. Jacob Buckley. Richard, BBR, how's the shoulder coming? It's coming slow, Richard. It's coming. It'll come. It'll come. I just got to go easy. I mean, I, I I, wasn't even able to go like this, friends. I wasn't. I, I know this injury like the back of my hand. It's happened to me lots. I'm getting stronger is what I'm doing. This is healing right now. It is. It's healing. That's how I see it. It's how I've experienced it. Friends, I used to get this all the time. All the time it used to happen to me. It was very, very frustrating. It would put me into a place that was not good. That's why when it happens, I kind of get quiet. I, I, I just, we've all got our freaking bucket of rocks we got to pack around, right? We've all got it. Everybody's got their own bucket of rocks. I'm just happy that I can actually lift a cup if you want to know the truth of it. So, yes. Yes. Paul Wright, I see Morgan's making another pipe. Yes, he is, and it's going to be phenomenal. 
He showed it to me. Andrew Ketchum. Andrew. Andrew says, thank you to the super chatters. Andrew, I'm with you, brother. I'm with you. Thank you is correct. Zachary Gross. Jason Hare. Ambrosio. Ambrosio. Dexta. Ambrosio. Good to see you. Thomas Cruff. I like a home light and a steel chainsaw and that runs great. <laughs> okay. Okay, buddy. Cool. Oh, I love it. Ah. Dave Barker says he loves this community and what everyone stands for. Spread mercy and grace, friends. Very nice, Dave. Very nice words, David. Wow. Okay, this is this is going quite quickly here. Look who just popped in. There's Mr. Nick Pixel. What have you got here? Nick Pixel. Todd J. Bucking fam. Laura, I see you. Bill Block checking in. Blessings. Be our special. Nick Pixel, what a nice fella you are. What a guy. Thanks, Nick. What a nice fella. Friends, do you remember what we talked about a few live feeds ago? Good to see you, Buck, and enjoy your Sunday and keep the good vibes coming. Oh, brother, thank you, I will. I will. Um, oh, yeah, Tanner. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm going down to Tennessee in February. Yeah. Yeah. Jack Snedden. Hope you're doing well, Buckin. We're coming along, buddy. We're coming along. Thank you. Come to Oregon, Mr. Schroeder says. Oh, we got plans to do that, my, my good brother. Yeah. Yep. I, uh, I'm going to be doing quite a bit of traveling, actually. Quite a bit. Friends, I want to, uh, we got 300 people here. And uh, I just want to say a couple things. You know, you all know what, what is here. You know what's at this channel. Friends, in life, <laughs> it's an individual job. You have an opportunity, right, to get, to get right. To get right with yourself. The, the opportunity is there. Right? To feel peace. And to be free. And I've never seen. I have never seen a person who is completely free. And happy. Just to be around and full of gratitude. I've never seen one of those types of people. Ever come at anyone with anything. Other than love. And lifting up and grace, like someone said in here. I've just not seen it. But I have seen people who are hurting, very full of fear and insecure, and just, they are just angry. I have seen those people uh, come at people. So, let's, let's not... Let's not bring a light to that this year going forward because sooner or later someone's going to come at you, friends. They're going to come at you. Just remember that to respond to it or to justify anything is kind of biting the hook. And there is an opportunity to be stronger than that. In lies the opportunity to respond in love. Do you know do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> do you? I see it a lot. 
I see it a lot. And it, it feels so good to be able to respond in love. It kind of immobilizes the vitriol. I don't know if you've experienced the same thing, but I have. And I will continue to do so going forward on this channel. Gratitude's got a big piece of it. Gratitude has got a huge piece of it. <sighs> Mr. Marty Rutter. Basically, love wins. That is that is correct. You you are one thousand percent correct. Now there's the loaded dog right there. Would would you look at this character? The loaded dog. This man knows what I'm talking about right here. The loaded freaking dog. Man, oh man. Yeah, Shannon. Yeah. Yeah, and that could mean different things to people, but you are absolutely right. You, you are absolutely right. It, it seems to come from something greater, doesn't it? Yeah, good for you, Shannon and Jessica. Good for you. I bless I bless everybody that's got a grasp on, on something that's a little bigger than they are, a little, little greater than they are. That seems to be the, the key at some point in life when you're at a bottom or you're at a place in where you're at a loss. You know what I mean? Whatever you've been doing isn't working. Well, what do we do? I don't know what you do, but I know what I did. And and I just I just laid over. I just said, I, I, I'm beat. I'm beat. It, there's got to be something out there. <laughs> right? It's when there's nothing left. That's when you find it. When there's nothing left. I love it. I love it. Oh, friends, um, in the video, in yesterday's, was it yesterday's video? Or I talked about the Tasmanian pattern being a bad design. That might have been taken in the wrong context. I said right in the video that the, the bad design part is the pull. That's, that's, that's just one man's opinion. That, that's all that is. I, I believe that the Tazzy, their weak point is the pull. The Tazzies are phenomenal axes. I praise the Tazzies all the time, actually. But the pole where there's, you know, that, that in, in my opinion, was a little bit of a, a weaker design. And that's what I meant by that, if anybody saw that and they were wondering, because I, I do praise the Tazzies. Tazzies have, yeah, good axe. Phenomenal axe, depending on who made it. Hey, Buckin, hope to see more videos and live streams. I wish you well. Thanks, Jason. Todd Albright. Hey, to all the moderators. Fire at the furnace. Firewood at the furnace. Good afternoon. Brad, good to see ya. Uh, Derbs is getting better at his filing. Good to hear, Derbs. The pole is too light, Jay Daniels said. Well, it's it's almost non-existent, Jay. On on most Tazzies, right? It's just it's almost non-existent. Some of them there is a little bit of a better pole, and and it wouldn't be so bad if somebody picked up a sledgehammer and started smashing them. That's where they suffer. But uh, yeah. Anyway, I think Bunyan's the sixth this year. I'm not positive, but I I think so. I think it's the sixth. Seventh and eighth, not positive, but someone said something about that. Uh, Land T1. Landy T1 has appreciates the content. Oh, good. It's helped you out. This is good. Good news. Someone, uh, Legend, um, 
Ledge Gibson. Ledge Gibson says, how about some thumbs up? That's a good, that's a good call. That's a great call. How about that? What do we got for thumbs up, friends? We got 311 people. We got to try and, right? What's in here? Oh, yeah. Wow. Avoid the conflict, Dave. A good well always gives you water. Nigel H. Yeah, we need to work on that. Yes, indeed. Stevie, let's thank him the super chat. Stevie, good to see you. I appreciate you showed me how to sharpen my chainsaw. Paul Gerard, that's great, Paul. Awesome news. Uh, the 550 XP boost is it, uh, they're they're good little saws for that style of saw. I I, I don't run a lot of medium sized saws, but uh, if that's what your floats your boat, it's a great little power saw with a little muffler mod on it, and uh, yeah, good good little saw. I'm not a real connoisseur of those saws, but that's a good saw. The, the, the 362 from Still is a good saw, in my mind. But again, I, I don't have a real, I'm not a good guy to ask about those saws because I don't, my, my setup for years, friends, was a 372 and a, and a 200T. That, that was my setup. That was it. That's what I would go to a tree job with. Two of those and two of those. Nothing in between. I bought those saws when they came out because I thought, hey, this would be a nice chunk out saw. I think I chunked one tree out and went back to the 372. It's all about the least amount of time I can spend in a tree. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I'm, but the 550 is a good saw. It's a good saw. But I, I'm not one to ask on that just because of the time on the saw. I, I don't have a lot of time on those little saws. One saw I will tell you about is a 357. Now that's a rip snorting saw. That's a rip snorter right there. Jamie Bark and Spider. Thank you, Jamie. Nick Pixel, what a guy. Nick, <laughs> son of a gun. Danny boy, do you have a John Sered chainsaw in your collection? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I got a 920 given to me by a, a nice fella, Joe Johnson. Good guy. Wow. We got the folks in here today. Uh, Bucking, how come there are... How come there are two blacksmith shops working on the wood bullet? There's not. There's there, there's actually not. There's uh, they're different axes. They're different designs. You can't you can't have you can't have two shops working on different things. That's that's not fair to either shop. You got to change the design. In my mind, Gary. So. The, the person working on the wood bullet right now is Liam Hoffman. Brad's working on a different axe. He's not working on the wood bullet. So there's not two shops working on the bullet. No. But the profile is similar, but different. Actually, what Brad's working on right now? <laughs> yeah. Very exciting. Very exciting. I'm just the guy that I don't, I'm not going to be no blacksmith. I, I hope that's understood by now. Uh, I might have had a pipe dream a while back that maybe I could have partake in it somewhere along the line, but I was mistaken. I was mistaken. I'm humble enough to realize it uh, and, and say it. I, for starters, standing on concrete is, it will ruin me. <laughs> I didn't even think about that part. Just ruin me. I gotta be moving. I gotta be moving or I'm done. Anyway, let's not go down a, a road. Uh, 
I'd like to have four or five different uh, blacksmiths getting good axes out for people. It's about the axe. Gary, do you not do you not agree with me, buddy? It's about getting a good axe out to people to swing. Cause who makes a good axe? Where can you go buy a good axe right now to split firewood? Tell me, please tell me. I'd like to know. Cause I don't know. It, it, it's sure not at the freaking uh, Home Depot. You know, Fisker's is about the only thing that if you want to call out a, it's, yeah, I, everybody's got their own opinions on what an ax is. Uh, the Fisker's has helped many people and is a great ax. It's not for the enthusiast because uh, most ax enthusiasts don't use fiberglass that I know of. Any uh, any idea on the price of the wood bullet? Eh, not really, not right now, because uh, yeah, it's not done. So that'll be that'll be up to the the guy who's making them. One thing I know is I won't be making any dough on it. <laughs> That's not how this game works. I figured that out a long time ago, way before any of these projects inter entered my life. No, no, you, you have to do it for the product. You have to want to get the public a good product. If it's about money, it won't work. This is only my experience and what I've seen out there. It just, especially when you're not making it, the money goes to the maker. The money goes to Liam Hoffman. Uh, will there be something in it for me? Of course there will. There has to be. But so I, I don't know. I, I don't make it. I'm, I'm not the blacksmith. But I tell you this right now. When this when this axe gets opened up and and pulled out of a pulled out of a box. And you, you pull that out of a box like that right there with a handmade handle and, and you grab that and you take that out to the wood and you start flicking that around in your wood pile. Uh, this axe isn't for everyone. Um, you, could, you could probably go to some, some uh, what do you call it? Mass production stamping company and stamp them all out which might be an option down the road for, for a less expensive uh, uh, version. But again, you know, nobody wants that. <laughs> so, well, I shouldn't say nobody. Everybody, there's always, there's enough people in the world to want everything. What kind of wood is it you use? For the handle? That would be hickory, sir. Robbie Egan loves the axe. Thanks, buddy. It's beautiful bucking. Uh, it's the kind of axe that a guy is going to be proud of. Well, that goes without say, brother. It, it is. I'm I'm actually blown away at it. That 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 freaking Liam Hoffman. Uh, kudos to the man. Kudos to the man. But I will guarantee this. I will. I, this I can guarantee right now. It'll be, it'll be 500 and up because he's got an ax on his website. I think he calls it the farm ax and it's four and a half pounds and it's, it's $520. So you can, you can, I think, I think you can take it from there that the bullet is going to be up in that range. Would that not, you know, that would seem normal to me. This channel got me into firewood. Cool. Cool, buddy. Jacob says, wow, I won't be getting one. No. Wow, expensive. <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's that's right. Well, you're probably not looking to buy Liam Hoffman axes then, are you? No, of course not. Not everybody goes and looks for a $500 axe. But I, I yeah, I, I, I don't know what, <laughs> what, do you think it would be cheaper if I made it? <laughs> no, no, it wouldn't be actually. Probably more, to be quite honest. So, yeah. Yeah, a lot of people don't, if you're not, if it's not something you look at or know about or have knowledge on hand-forged axes, this would seem like a whole bunch of money to you. Absolutely it would. 100%. 100%. And, and this axe is not for everyone. Oh, no. No, no, no. It's not. No. I, I thought about down the road, friends. We'll see how this goes. I thought about down the road, maybe we could see something like, uh, I don't know, some company that stamps them out, but it becomes, then it becomes the quality changes. Everything changes. Everything changes. It's now a stamped out axe. And can they get the same profile? Probably not. Probably not. So, eh. Yeah, Brad, that's about it. You don't know until you don't. Yeah, that's a good thing, Brad. No doubt. No doubt. Oh. How are you doing? Not seen, not seen you for a while. You looking good, brother. Myster uh, Mystery Gardener. Where you been, brother? I've been good. I've been good. I've been down. I've been down on uh, Energon cubes for the last. Well, probably coming up a couple weeks now. I think coming up on the on the second week of that. Yeah, this axe put some fire in my chimney, though. Let me tell you that. But uh, I, I I'm down a bit physically, brother. To be honest, yeah. But I'm coming out of it. I feel it. And I'm coming out with a vengeance. Friends, listen, if you're ever doing anything in, in, in life, the, the worst thing you can do is start justifying your existence to people. I've said it since the day I came to this freaking YouTube. Don't justify anything you're doing to anybody. Just do good things. Just do good things. Give. Love people. Be kind. If you're not very nice and you lie and cheat and steal, you're going to reap the benefits of those actions. But if you're kind and genuinely a kind person, which you may not be able to be that way unless you, till you get to know yourself, you get to accept yourself for what you are, maybe do a little self-exploration, talk to your maker a couple times, Figure that program out. That's a personal deal. The last thing I do is come here and justify my existence to anyone. I've never done it and I never will. I don't do bad things to people. I spread love, share my, my experience in life. So I've never been a big justifier of what I do. And I say the same to you. Do good things and justify to no one. Do good things and justify to no one. It looks weak when someone comes at you with, well, and you go, well, the reason that is is because this and that and this and that. How about just, bless you, carry on. I ain't got energy for any of that stuff in my life. None, zero, zilcheroni. I got enough for love. That's what I got. I got energy for love. 
Oh, man. One of the funniest things I ever saw was a YouTuber. He started a YouTube channel. Uh, yeah, hang on a sec. Dino. I like Dino Baraclow Buckin. Uh, you got two big fans. Uh, grandson and Theo. Cairo and Theo here tonight. Cairo and Theo. How are you young fellas doing? Do good things, boys. Do good things. Help out. Hey, open doors. Keep the binders open. Don't worry about yourself. You'll be looked after. You're here, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Yeah, you are. Do 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 do. Yeah, this is good. Positive thoughts and actions bring positive results. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. <sighs> the Twin Cities Best Homes. Dot com. Well, I don't know how long you've been here, brother, but nothing's changed. I've been the same guy for seven, eight years on this channel. There's been no, <laughs> there's been, there's been no changes. <laughs> give me a heck yeah. If this, if I've changed friends, give it to me. I, I, I'm too rooted. I'm too rooted. I, I my mom raised me right. You do unto others. I I don't... I, I'm getting pumped up now. You guys are getting me going now. I don't need a freaking thing. I used to think I was in need of things all the time and that I would never have enough because I was poor and I grew up poor and I thought, you know, I, I need to... You know, and I, I went through this phase years and years ago and then I realized that I've been looked after because here I sit before you. Here I sit. Oh, it's our mind that changes things. Feel. Feel. Don't think. That's what I do. That's what I do. This year's going to be nuts. It's going to be nuts. Guys got to understand, you know, the opposites. Pain. Freedom, right? There's opposites. They don't know one another unless they're, you know what I mean? You don't know hot until you're cold. Huh? And you don't know happy until you're sad. That's, I didn't make the rules, friends. That's natural laws, that stuff. That shouldn't be a... Anyway... Friends, I have bitten my tongue for so many years because uh, I don't I don't like all I, all I know is I'm just another guy flapping his gums on the internet. And if you like it here, then that warms my heart. And and stay here and just just be here with me. Just just be here. You know I I don't I'm not here trying to sell you nothing. It's that's up to you what you do. If I was trying to sell you something, you'd know it a long time ago. Maybe love. That's that's not true. i I'm trying to. I'm pushing love on you. That's what I'm doing. I'm pushing love on the world. <laughs> that's that's true. I am. I'm sharing love. Okay. Uh, my husband has been watching and learning from you for years. Oh, bulldog treat. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you. I'm far from done gotten. I'm just, I'm coming up 54 years old. And I have driven my body to the absolute max to be the sugar daddy of my family. Okay? You want to know the truth of it? I wasn't trained to cut trees. Nobody trained me. Nobody took me under their wing. I was self-taught fallen timber until I got hooked up with a couple of guys. I'm lucky to be around, and I know that, and I'm grateful for it. I've never said I'm the best at nothing. I've always claimed that I'm a man that loves to cut trees. That's all I've ever said. I've never compared myself to nobody because that's just foolish. 
And that's my message to young people. Don't compare yourself to anyone. Compare yourself to yourself. That's I, I just I just I'm just a guy that just likes cutting. That that's it. And I will cut for as long as God's gonna let me, physically. And I've taken a horrible beating along the way. Just a horrible beating along the way. But there's it doesn't surprise me that I did. It doesn't surprise me at all, actually. And I don't ask questions. Why me? Oh, why me? Why, 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 why do I, you know, no, why? Because I chose to do this, that's why. That's why, because I chose to. So you, you guys, gals, women and children, you, you know what to do, you're very smart. If you like me, that's great. If you don't, I will see it, and you will see it, and that will work itself out nice and easily, probably easier than anywhere else. Doc of all trades. Now, here's a character that throws down a super chat. Wow. Add axe design to your SJ Daniels. Look at Doc of all trades. Hey, Buck, and thank you for the inspiration, education, and positive energy. I can't wait to get a Buck and special. Right on, Doc. Thanks, brother. Thank you for the super chat. Appreciate you. Nice. Buck, and we love you. Brian Hebert. Brian, we love you too, buddy. I love you, Buck, and... You are stuck with me. Wow, Christine. If anybody knows me, it's Christine. That 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 Christine, she freaking flew by herself. She flew. Friends, Christine flew across a couple thousand miles to see me in Indiana. Hang out with people with power saws and axes and just get together. And she's here, you know, she's still here. She's my main, my main gal, Christine. Christine, I love you so much. And all these people, all these names, Leon Shuffletowski, you know what I mean? Look at this Nicholas character. Just got a Pro Mac, can't find a clutch cover. Please help, we'll pay. eBay, buddy, eBay, don't just look for don't just look for a 700. The 1010 will fit just fine. Just get one from a 1010. It'll blast on there, no problem, buddy. Pro Mac 1010, same saw. Thank you for the super chat, buddy. Christine is awesome. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. Oh, are there any Myrtle hoodies on the website? I don't know, actually. I don't think so. Christine would know. Christine would definitely know that. Yeah. Um, ask Christine, uh, Andrew, and I don't know if we're going to redo that or, or what we're going to do. Yeah. Hello from the Blue Ridge Mountains. Nice to see you. Jesus. Jesus. Christine is a legend. Uh, yes, indeed she is. Johnny Arnett's way. Hello, my friend. Just want to say congratulations on a great journey and acts. Just a great tool, sir. It's lovely. It's lovely, Johnny. Hey, Johnny, you, you got one of my axe handles. How is that feeling in your hands? Buddy, that, that curved handle. How, how is that? How's that feeling? Hi. Hi, babe. Hey, guys. Hey, it's Rita. Hi. Come on. Rita's here, friends. Were you on the live, hi? No, I wasn't. Oh. Sorry. Watch your toes. Why? Axe. Oh. Hi. Are you on live right now? I'm on, I'm live. Yeah, you, you feel chilly. I got to... Check out for people. Oh, good idea. Hello. Say hi to everybody. Hi. 
Hi everyone. Rita's here. No, I totally gapped, Dad. Sorry. No, don't don't worry about it. I didn't even I didn't ask you. I didn't didn't bug you or nothing. We were watching the Man United game. Oh yeah, what's happened? They lost. Did Against they? The uh, Arsenal. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Before. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So you're taking the dog out. Yes. Come on. Okay. Let's go. Oh, before you go, yeah. hi. So that's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you saw that, didn't you? Yep. Nuts, isn't it? Beauty. All right. Love you. Love you too. Come on, Chica. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Uh, the wedge banger. Hey, there's Johnny right there. The wedge banger is a very good handle. Feels very uh, good in the hand. Palm swell was sanded a bit overall. Good feeling handle. Uh, Johnny Arnett, you know what? The wedge banger needs to be um, that wedge, that, that um, palm swell is too big. I find when guys go to you know, tap their axe on, you can break it unless you dome the top. It's it's something that's you got to be very careful with. Did you run into that? So I'm going to actually shorten that a little bit, like make it a little smaller. Um, now, Johnny, did you do you have the curved handle as well? I don't remember if you got a curved handle or not, Johnny. I appreciate your input. John Bettingsfield, Bucking, thanks for spreading the kindness and positivity. Keep bucking the love. I don't plan on changing that much, brother. That would be a, a weak thing to do is give up on love, wouldn't it? Now, I would have to be pretty cynical to give up on love, wouldn't I? Bulldog Tree, thank you for your kindness. Bulldog, thank you so much for the super chat. Appreciate you. When you come into Toronto, promo on the Wood Bull It. We're not. <laughs> Toronto. No, probably not. <laughs> no. No plans to go to Toronto. Reed is in the house. Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good. The wedge banger needs a couple of tweaks. I've already talked to Eli about that. Thanks, Johnny. Appreciate your input. Big time. All righty. Let's go. I did, sir. I did a repair on the crack like you showed us. Oh, good. Good, Johnny. You fixed it? Good. Yeah, that was crazy how that guy got all those handles for us. Wow, that was that was amazing. Dowel. Yes, good. Good, Johnny. Can you tell us more about who Christine is and how you found her? Laura Krug. Yeah, like I say, uh, Laura, she... she she was on the channel, just like you. Just like you, Laura. She was on the channel. I threw an event called Buck and Stock in Indiana, and she showed up. I think we flew her here. Did we fly you here, Christine, the first year? I think we did, didn't we? How did that go? Or did, was that, I forget. But yeah, she, she just, I think she likes me a little bit. She likes me. Wow. Chris Limitless. Hey, Bucking. Just wishing you well. Saying hi. Hey, Chris Limitless. Thank you, buddy. Nice to see you, bud. Bulldog. Thank you for the super chat. Glad I could help almost as much as you and this community. Still love the handle. Oh, good. Good, Johnny. That's good to hear.
Do you plan to hold another of these events? Landry one. Yes, we do. Um, what's kind of been taking the precedence the last, well, obviously we've been in a, whatever you want to call it, this last few years. So that's put a kibosh on us completely. Um, but we went to Paul Bunyan last year and I met some incredible, incredible people. Um, there, there's two, two of them right there that were there. Joe Rainus and Andrew Ketchum. So, Love you, Dad. okay, Bum, you going? Yeah, I'm stewing some stew. Oh, you are? Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. Did you get a, bu a bun? Sure. There's only one left, so okay. you don't need it. All right. Say goodbye to everybody. Bye, everybody. <laughs> See you later. Thanks for getting me that saw blade. No problem. Yeah. Oh, I, them lights. I'll grab you those lights tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, love you. Okay, love you, babe. Bye. Bye. Um, Bye, Chica. What were we talking about? Sorry, friends. Yeah, I, I lost it there. How can anyone not like you? <laughs> You're a straight shooter. Oh, brother. This is the thing. I, well, thank you. I appreciate it. But you got to, you, well, you don't got to do nothing. I, I just found the best thing for me was to get to know myself with all my warts and, and my goodness and my badness and everything. And just, you know what I mean? Just roll over and roll my stomach to the to the creator and I am what I am and and I've done some things I'm not proud of uh, I won't be doing them again and, and and forgiveness was given to me instantly instantly and I am not a religious man I am not a religious man friends I'm telling you I just was like I, I, I'm not going to say too much more because that it's all out there for us. It, it's, he, he makes it quite simple for everyone to get a handle on it. And uh, I, I just got to know myself. That's all I can say. I started to accept myself for who I was, warts and all. And, uh, and then I started to realize that other people were goodness. There was goodness in everybody. You know what I mean? There was goodness in everybody. And I started to change things started to change for me it was crazy i started to love my wife differently like I, i'm just telling you you are it's crazy it's crazy so but i went down a dark road i had to go figure out who i wasn't first well i didn't have to i chose to does, does that make sense i had i chose to go figure out who i wasn't and who i didn't want to be so that I could create who I want to be. A hardworking man who is honest and who jumps out of his vehicle to give someone a hand if they're in a bad way and be my family's sugar daddy. I take no more pride in my life than, than feeding my family, paying my bills and working hard and having calloused hands. It's that simple. There's no more to it for me. I'm a pretty simple fellow. That's it. If I go away and someone says that guy got his stuff together and was a good person and was kind to people and looked after his family, that's it. Thanks. Good enough. I got not good enough. My job's done here. I don't need to be famous. I don't need to be nothing. If that falls in my lap and comes down my my alley, uh, then I will be humble in its presence and I will continue to spread love wherever I go and lift the human being up and, and find love in everyone because we all have it. Even the most visceral, angry, mean people have love in them and they just need more love. It's that, it's that simple, friends. It is. They just need someone to love them. Hey. Eh? Why can't that be us? Why can't that be us? I don't know. It's going to be me. And I urge you, if you're not comfortable with this type of splatter on, just roll on. Just roll on. It's, it's very easy. You have a choice. You can be here or don't be here. I've been doing this too long. 
to ask for people to stick around or please give me a subscribe or please hit the thumbs up or please all this. You're freaking smart people. You can figure it out on your own. I'm here because I want to be here. I'm here because I want to be here and I want you to be good. Uh, Ryan Feld, um, sorry, do you know if they still sell good double bit axes anymore? And if they do, I, I, I've, I've not seen one, buddy. I've not seen one. I, no, I, I don't, I don't believe they do. <laughs> if you can find one at a department store, please let me know. You'll find one. But I don't know what it'll be for. It definitely won't be for splitting wood. It'll probably be for, I don't know, shiny, some shiny thing that you could chop a log or something with, you know, or cut a tree maybe, but it's not for splitting wood. Brother, you've brought me out of so many slumps in life, and I praise and thank you sincerely. Andrew, buddy, dude, you are such a good dude, man. Andrew, you are. You, you're just, you're a beast of a man. Friends, this Andrew Ketchum character right here, uh, like, like look, look at what he just said. Look at what Andrew just said, friends. He, he's publicly saying to me, for all to see, that I've helped him in a slump in his life. Several. Oh. Andrew, dude, we'll be connected forever, buddy. It's that simple. You understand. You've seen. You have felt. We've been in each other's presence. That's what's important to me in life is connection, human connection. I connected with so many people at that freaking, uh, that Paul Bunyan, it was crazy. Crazy. You're a good man, Andrew. And your son is lucky to have you. Very lucky to have you. I ain't got, I, I don't, I, I'm not out to impress anybody. I just ain't. Okay, Buckin, you're a really awesome influence. I've been watching you for three months now. You've changed my mind on some things. Wow, you've got me into buying old axes. Oh yeah, you're not alone there, Brian. Yo, you, Brian, you wouldn't believe how many people have sent me that message. Good for you, bud. Good for you. That's good. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, Carson, it's coming. It's coming. I, I just, you know, I, 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 I worked my shoulder a little bit today, so I'm going to start to rebuild it. So it's a little sore because I kind of, I worked it a bit. It'll come. Avoiding the future. Have a good week, Buck. And you too, buddy. Nice to see you. Say hi to your girl. Your goyle. Keep on bucking. Speaking of that, we got shirts coming out. I'm working with a guy right now on uh, some shirt designs. We're working on it. Christine, I forgot to even tell you that. <laughs> I did. This is fairly recent. And then I kind of got under the weather a bit. So I just, you know, when you just don't feel like doing nothing, friends. Does anybody ever get that, that, that way where they just, they just don't feel like doing anything. You know what I mean? Am I alone here? You're the best, Billy. KJ Lumber Products. Well, nice to see you, buddy. Nice, nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you for the nice words. 
Oh my goodness, it's Vinesh Singh. Look at Vinesh, friends. Like, thank you, Bucking, for everything. I can't wait for the wood boy. Thank you for helping all, if us. Vinesh. Vinesh, thank you for the super chat. What a support you are. Wow. Matthew says, will you ever use a fuel injected saw? They're gonna, well, isn't the 500 fuel injected? Yeah. Will I ever use one? Well, I, I have used one. Can't say I like it that much, but it's all right. But I doubt it, not as a rule, probably not. No, I'm a, I'm a hot rodder at heart, you know? I feel like I got born a little bit late. I, I feel like I was born 100 years too late, to be honest with you. I ain't changing. I can change. Some things I, I can change. Devin, good to see you, Devin. Ishman, the Ishman. Buddy, good to see ya. Anyway, friends, well, I don't want to be here too long today. I just, we like to keep the, uh, the tradition alive. We go live on Sundays and uh, this is just where we're at today. It is Buckins, uh, he's, it's coming. It's coming. We'll get there. Ish, man. Kevin Duff. Bucken, do you know any Native Americans? Na do you, Bucken, do you know any Native American Indians? I live with some. Yeah, yeah, I know thousands of them. Thousands. Literally thousands. Yeah. And I live with some. Yes, indeed, I do. Where do you get your axe handles? His name's Eli. Yeah. His name's Eli. What kind of sauna do you got? Steve Williams, I have a sauna, an infrared sauna. I don't know the name of it. It's just a, I've had it for years and it, it helps me out so much, so much. Vinesh, good to see you here again in the comment section. What a nice person you are. Good wishes from Limerick, Ireland. Kevin, thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Smitty's Chainsaw. Smitty, good to see you. Smitty, did you take your your hot dame out for a, day, a dinner that night? Smitty, come on. Come on, Smitty. <laughs> oh, there's my boy. There he is. Hogan's here. Map man, always good to see the map man. Oh, Stevie. Oh, brother. <laughs> yeah. I do, yeah. Yeah, the cold, yeah. It's, that's why I can't stand, buddy. I, I, 
I don't think people understand, and I don't. I don't care that they do. It, do, it doesn't matter to me. I'm. I'm not trying to. But uh, you only know if you if you're in the situation. If you have busted up bones and the cold weather. Uh, I don't know why, but it 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 makes it worse. Uh, so yeah, Stevie, you're, Steve's asking, what's up, my friend? Wondering if you have problems in the cold morning with your leg and back. Yeah. Hey, bud. Not bad, you? How was it? Oh, you guys a good time? Kind of bowling. Bowling? Kind of nice. Oh, good to see you, oh, right on, buddy. Um, yeah. But again, friends, uh, I, I don't... Gratitude for me, <laughs> telling you. I'm telling you, it, it outweighs any of that stuff. It outweighs it. See, I love this character. L look at this. Look at this. Beaker Akdog Akdogan. Akdogan. Listen to what he says. He says, I follow you every day but I don't know your language. It doesn't matter. I love you. <laughs> Buddy, I love you too. Friends, this is why YouTube, in my humble opinion, is the, is the answer to world peace. Yeah, it is. If you're new here, you may not have heard me say that, but if you're not new here, you know darn tootin' what I'm talking about. I've been rambling on about this stuff for a long time. Hey, Beaker, I love you, buddy. I love you. Thank you. Nice to see you here. Very nice to see you. Chris Limitless with another freaking bucking. Are you talking about what I think you're talking about? I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea, buddy, what 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 you mean, Chris. <laughs> Thanks, Chris, for the super chat, buddy. I'm way behind on comments. I'm just going to hit the blue line. Oh, my. Look at this character, Tom Carlson. Tom, old boy. Tom. Friends, thank Tom for us, please. Wow. Lyle Davis, love to you all. Be kind. Lyle Davis pops in for a super chat. So does Leon Shuffletowski and freaking Tom Carlson with a 50 spot. Friends, let's thank the super chatters, please. And if you haven't thumbs up yet, let's do that too. Mm-hmm. Turbo T, good to see ya. Yeah, Chris, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's... We'll see. We'll see. I don't know if we're going to go that route or not. I've, I've looked at some other designs, you know what I mean, buddy? Um, some time has passed, but we'll see. We, we may use that, but I can't guarantee it, buddy. I can't guarantee it. So I don't want you to be offended there. That's a, that, that, that saying, keep on bucking, it encompasses a lot more than just the act of bucking logs. You know what I mean, brother? It does. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. Good to see you, Laura. Thanks for popping in. See you, David. Okay, friends. I'm going to, uh, I'm probably going to rock on here. Thanks for popping in, friends. Let's thank our super chatters real quick before we leave. All our supporters, all our, our moderators, thank you so much for helping out. It would be 
quite different without the moderators and our super chatters. So thank you all so much. I hope everybody has a good week. There's not a lot on the go right now. Uh, I'm just healing up. So I might just take a couple more days off from the channel. I'm not sure yet. We'll see what happens. You never know. Things change fast around here. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Oh, yeah, here we go. Good timing, friends. Over and out, I love yous all. Do good things. Justify to no one. Remember that. Remember that. Do good things. Just be a good person. And don't be justifying to nobody. You don't need to justify nothing. Be kind. Okay, let's get this rolling here. There's my ice pack. Oh, is that right, eh, Chica? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I know. The bucking stamps going right there. See, that's straight handled. I want to try this on a couple of different handles. Over and out, friends. Thanks for coming. Thanks for all your support. Be kind, friends.